How's it going guys? Cody guys, back again, dropping yet another video. Right guys, it's like after midnight now, so it's like, it's literally Wednesday. Um, it's been a long, long, long day. I didn't sleep very well last night. I've been doing interviews all day, setting up interviews, shopping, oh, just crazy, 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 crazy long day. Anyway, um, as you saw yesterday, I, I did a short vlog asking for former prisoners that have been in Exeter Prison, Chelmsford and Nottingham. Uh, that's been extended now. They're looking from prisoners from Bedford, people that have got out of Bedford in the last year, year and a half. So Bedford Prison, Nottingham Prison, Exeter Prison and Chelmsford. Uh, I need prisoners that have been in them prisons. Please, please, please share my vlog. I, I'll only, I, I want decent people, people that know what they're talking about, right? People that are willing to go on camera to the news, right? It could be televised, it could be radio, but these this news channel is a national news channel, right? And like I say, somebody put me in contact with a former prisoner from Exeter. Um, I've spoken to him this evening. He's a great lad. Um, I think he's going to speak to the news team tomorrow because it's going to be an ongoing situation. There's a massive story about the conditions uh, that's just come out in the Her Majesty's Inspector Prison Report about Exeter Prison. Right? Now, it's a court. I've never been down there. I've never been in that jail. Do you know what I mean? I've never been in Dartmoor. I've never been in uh, Exeter Prison. I don't even... I've never been there. Um, but yeah, so they're looking for former prisoners that have got out in the last year, year and a half, that have been in Exeter or Chelmsford Prison, which is also a young offenders, um, from Bedford or from Nottingham. Right? If you have got out of those prisons or even been a prison officer in those prisons in the past year, year and a half, two years, right? the, the, the more frequent, the more like recent, the better, because it's all about the now. So the more recent, the better, but I'd say about 12 months, just over 12 months. If you've got out of any of those prisons, please, please, please. If you're watching this and you know somebody, but they might not subscribe to me, send this vlog to them. My number will be in the description below, guys. Please contact me, right? As a former prisoner, I love giving former prisoners the platform to speak out about the system. Anyone that's been in prison should be doing more like what I'm doing on here. I'm not an expert on anything, guys. I'm just an expert in my own life. I stick to what I know. I don't go beyond that. So I need former prisoners, former prison officers from Exeter Prison, HMP Exeter, HMP Chelmsford, HMP Nottingham, or HMP Bedford. I need them four prisons, guys. And it's a national news thing. And like I say, the more people that share these videos or send it to the friends, WhatsApp it to them, text it to them, ask them. Just say, look, this kid... Everyone that's been through the system, right? It affects everybody. We do this whole macho thing that prison doesn't bother us and everything else, right? Prison affects us all. It affects our families. It affects us. It affects people's children, prisoners' children, right? It's put strains on relationships, family relationships break down, right? I don't like the system. I'll be straight with you. I don't. I hate the system. The system's as broken as those entering the system. Before we was ever offenders, guys, we was victims, right? And I stick by that. I love it. I, we need more people, right? The prison system and the Ministry of Justice, guys, what do they do? They like to keep a lid on stories getting out so that, that, that they don't like people speaking out. That's why if I ever go back to prison, my life will be a living hell, a genuine, especially strange ways, man. The amount of shit I've said about strange ways, I would end up back in prison. If I end up back in that prison, I'm getting a rough time, mate. They're not going to give me a job. I'm going to be treated like shit. Do you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, you can do the vid you can do the interview anonymously, i.e. with a hood up, they can pixelate your face. There's different things you can do. But stand if you're if you're on license, right, you're not really gonna want to stand there and like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if you end up back inside or they recall you, you're gonna get a rough ride back inside. But at the same time, if you're not on license and you're away from crime like I am, stand up to be counted. Make your voice count. Speak up for other prisoners. If you've got a, if you've got an axe to grind, grind it. You can grind it on national news, man. Tell the people about the system, about the conditions, about the treatment, about the mental health, about the regimes, about the kickings. Blow the lid, man. Let's expose prisons. That's what I'm asking you to do. Expose prisons. I'm nobody, guys. I talk too much. I know that, right? But guys, please again, and I'm sorry to reiterate it, but if you have been in Exeter Prison, I've got one guy, right? But I could do with more, right? But he's a top kid. Um, Exeter Prison, HMP Chelmsford, which is also a young offenders. Uh, HMP Bedford Prison, which is again, another prison that's had issues, been urgent notification being issued. And also Nottingham Prison. There's been an alarming amount of deaths in Nottingham Prison in the past few years. 
Have you been in them prisons recently? Have you got out recently? Are you willing to talk on camera? Are you willing to put your head out there and speak out and slag the system off and tell it for what it is in a, on, a, on a national platform? If you are, please, 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 please contact me. I've got text messages. I've got WhatsApp, guys. Drop me a call. Text me. I will ring you back. I'll WhatsApp you back. I'll call you back if you've not got minutes or anything. But just please, I need it. Guys, like I said, I don't get paid for this, guys. These media. You don't get paid. Someone asked me earlier, do you get paid for news interviews? No. News do not pay. Documentaries you can get money for. Uh, and there's going to be documentaries coming up. And what I'm hoping to do as well, and I'm going to leave you on this note, is what I'm hoping to do, I'm going to put a big vlog out there. I'm going to ask anyone who's been in prison to contact me. Get in contact with me. And what I want to do is I'm going to get an address book. And I'm going to do an A to Z of people that contact me that I speak to, that I've spoken to, that know prison, that I know that they know what they're talking about, they know what they're talking about. And then what I want to do is make a big database, right? And I want to put these prisoners in the, in the media spotlight so that they can tell their story. And when there's prison documentaries come up, and let me tell you, there's going to be a lot of prison documentaries coming up because there's always someone contacting me one way or another about a bloody documentary. I get journalists, producers, assistant producers, news journalists, con oh, researchers. Oh, it's crazy. It drives me insane. I don't get paid for none of this, guys. I do it because I'm passionate about the system. I'm passionate about those that are still in the system, that are suffering. They haven't got a voice, really, unless they get on the top of the prison and they start rioting and they're on the top and shouting from the top of the jail. The rest of them suffer in silence. That's why I take my, what I do, what I speak and I take it very, very seriously. Anyway, guys, I've waffled on for nearly seven minutes, right? Please, please, please get in touch if you have been in Exeter Prison, Chelmsford, Nottingham or Bedford. Recently, recently last year, year and a bit. Please get hold of me. Share it. Send it to your friends. If you know someone that's been in prison, know people that people that people. Send it out there. Get them to contact me. Numbers in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe. Call the out.